In this video, we're giving you tips on how to use some less prominent but very useful features and control elements of SmartEQ2. There are a few different ways of controlling band parameters in SmartEQ2. You can either type in precise values for each band or drag the thumbs. Holding down shift while changing the gain will lock a thumb on the frequency axis. Scrolling while hovering over the thumb will change the Q value. Alternatively, you can hold Alt and move your mouse pointer vertically. Right-clicking the filter icon in the info box allows you to change the filter type. Double-clicking on the thumb will set the band's gain to zero. Activate or deactivate a band by clicking on the indicator dot. Smart EQ2 allows you to group bands and manipulate them simultaneously. Select multiple bands by dragging the mouse while holding the left click or by right-clicking on the thumbs. In group mode, you can change frequency and gain of the selected bands proportionally. By using the scale parameter in the info box, you can do relative gain adjustments. Smart EQ2 has a number of different analyzer options. There's a pre and a post analyzer as well as a view that shows both graphs. You can also do a long-term analysis by pressing the average button. Change the analyzer settings in the options menu. The solo on touch mode will automatically solo every band you're working on. If you tend to work with narrow notch filters a lot, it might be worthwhile to enable the constant Q mode, providing more steeply sloped filters at higher Q values. Smart EQ2 can process an MS input signal as well as render an MS output signal. Therefore, the plugin can also be used as an MS decoder and encoder. For a fresh look, enable an alternative set of filter colors in the options menu.